Welcome back everyone. This is another video from Excel Nerds. Today we're learning about index and match and how they can be used together. There are so many ways to use these two functions together, but today we're going to look at a very simple use case. Right here we have a list of 75 video IDs and their total views for a period. On the next tab we have the paid views for the same 75 video IDs. Our goal in, in this video is to get the paid views over to the same tab as the total views so that we can subtract them and figure out the organic views. So let's go back over to our first tab and we'll break down index and match. Index and match are actually two functions that can be used independently of each other, but in combination they work so well. So they're often referred to as index match as if it's one function, but they really are two separate functions. The first one I'll talk about is the match function. Match is used to look up a value from an array. So since the unique value we're dealing with here is the video ID, I'm going to give that as my first argument, comma, and then the array I'm going to look up is this list of video IDs in our second tab. The last argument you provide is a zero for an exact match, and we get the number two. The two is the row in which the match function found that result. So if we go over to our other tab, we'll see that the video ID is in that second row. Watch what happens when I sort the second tab. Come back here, and now it's in row 50. So the important thing to know is that match is returning the row in which our match occurs. That's very, very important because that result is going to feed into the index function. At its most basic level, the index function is basically looking up values from an array. The only required argument for the index function is the row number. If you want to provide the column number if, when you're dealing with multiple columns, that can be very important to pinpoint data within a large data set. But in our case, we're really only looking up values from a one column array. Now what I mean by that is if I open my index function here like I have and I go to our second tab, the array that we're pulling from and the result that we need is in column B. That is all we're going to highlight, column B from sheet 2. The next argument that the index function needs is the row number in which our value occurs. The reason we talked about the match function first was to show that the result of the match function is the row number. So we're going to feed that result into our index function and these two are now working together. So I'll come back to sheet one and I'll click 50, which is the result of our match function. And that gives us the paid views from the other tab. The next thing we want to do is learn how to combine these two functions into one cell so that we don't have to do those two steps every time. So I'm going to open the index function, which is ultimately giving us the result, going to sheet two, only selecting the column in which the result of the function lies, which is our paid views, press comma, and then because we need the row number next, I'm going to open up the match function, provide the lookup value, which is our video ID, then go back to the array in which we want to look that up, which is in sheet two, column A. So it's looking for our video ID in column A of the second sheet, and then it's going to provide back the paid views for that corresponding row. Last but not least, we'll type in zero to signify an exact match, and press enter, and there we have our paid views. We'll autofill that down by clicking the small box, and we get a list of all paid views for these video IDs. Now that we pulled in our paid views from the other tab, we want to calculate what are the organic views for every video in this list. I'm going to type equals B2, whoops, minus C2, and we have the organic views. We autofill that down, and we have the organic views. 